whole idea behind it is that I have found is that through an intense workout like this um, and learning this technique and being intense and getting lost in one of these more conditioning type workouts is I found that my addiction could not touch me. Um, depression can't touch me, anxiety can't touch me. Um, nothing on the outside world can touch me. The only thing I get caught up in thinking about is is what I'm doing in this workout. After I get done, I can't, uh, you know, I feel good about myself because I just got done doing something that challenged me in my mind physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and I, I feel better. You get lost in that immediate gratification, instant fix cycle, and it becomes it, it, it owns you. You forget how to you forget how to persevere, how to struggle, how to how to change. And power of war to me is is that work ethic, that, that that learning how to overcome. I don't know to meet a challenge, to, to set goals and, and, and meet those goals. For so long, a lot of people that struggled have struggled with addiction. Maybe their children or family or friends have seen them be unhealthy. So our belief now is that we want our children or people in our family to see us being healthy, basically us setting an example for our children, for them to follow as, as they get older um, so that they can be healthy and be happy and not always have those memories of their parents being unhealthy. If you can learn how to use strength and conditioning like this, then your addiction cannot touch you during that time. And over time, you will become healed by strength and conditioning.